Hello YouTube, it's Mike and Aaron from Team Endgame here, bringing you a sneak peek report of Extra Booster 4 and 5. Now, this is a special one, or well, I find it a little annoying. Why is it annoying? Why is it annoying? Because you have to, one you have to choose to one or the other, which is easy for me and you, but I find it annoying because I'll get to it in a minute, but I was at a massive disadvantage. <laughs> now, I obviously went for the Novas, and Aaron went for the... Oh. First, we'll clarify, with this event, it was basically a sealed deck event. Instead of doing the whole, you pick your packs, select one in the trigger, pass along, it was, you get six packs, you're playing with those six packs. Yeah, deal with it. Problem, bro. <laughs> because it was both extra boosts, you got to pick between Nova and Oracle. As Mike said, he picked Nova's, I picked Oracle. Yeah. Um, and first of all, I guess we'll say where we came... Unfortunately, Aaron came second, so he got oh, a map. I got my map there. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, and where did you come? Um, I was joint third, so I said, "All right, mate, I'll just play for it." Obviously, didn't, didn't I? Obviously, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so I got my map as well. I got two mats now. Yeah, so we don't need one. <laughs> but we'll pass that to a. We'll, we'll trade that off to a local or something. Local anyway. somewhere. But yeah, uh, so. How did the day go? Oh, there you go. Well, first of all, let's talk about how the city itself was. I mean, obviously it's well organised. Ledger's obviously... He was everywhere! Yeah, he was everywhere. Obviously, Ledger's a great place to attend these tournaments. And this is where we regularly attend. So, but the tournament itself, the... Oh, let's see, it wasn't much organisation at the start, because you open six packs, you deal with it. So Pretty it's much. like, right, okay. So I opened my six packs, and... We, I looked at Aaron, and both went out straight away lack of grade ones, so that's uh, that's not a great start. But we'll go through the grades and tell you what we saw. Well, yeah. I mean straight away this <laughs> just shows exactly how much of a disadvantage I was at. Bringing yeah. five heels. Every Oracle player had about five, six heels. Why I don't know. Because there's two heels in the pack. And Yeah. You guys and Nova's only get the one heel. War boy. Yeah. So we have a better chance of getting heel triggers all the time and has you know, we do, basically. But yes. to make matters worse, there's people like me who abuse Lozenge Magus, boost and put it back, boost and put it back, and heal yeah, about some, six, seven times. too much to be my argue. I, I, just went, I just got two draws, three grits, three stands, two stars. Uh, two draws, same as you, six heals, uh, five heals even, one crit and one stand. So that's and my starter was a waffle. <laughs> Which was five, a six, seven, eight, nine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you got one trigger more than me as well. Mm. Mine was a starter, which is lovely. Do you want to talk about your little thing you do with your yeah, starter? Yeah, that, 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 <laughs> that was quite funny. <laughs> One game I was grey docked, and I went, <sighs> ride White Tiger, move it back. I'd stop at the grade one and go, all right, I'll move White Tiger back. <laughs> so I didn't lose it, but I was still make myself a 10, obviously, because I'm great. Grade ones, at the very least, Nova's had a slight advantage in the fact that they're all sevens and eights. Yeah, they're my two sevens, and I didn't really want to play that because people drew off it. Hell yeah. Other than that, it's a few sixes and a luck bird. Exactly. <laughs> so we had the advantage of the grade one rushes, which I obviously is a good advantage of. And because I ran stands twice in the tournament, I went, rest stand, let's attack my 15. Which is lovely. With the uh, passing wolf. Um, grade twos was my only pull of the day, which was pointless for me because obviously I've got four of everything up until this point. I got Macaroon as a pull. Macaroon. Mm. <laughs> um, I got a Carrara clone. Oh, so you got one as well, did you? I never used it. That though. was my entire pull for the day, mate. <laughs> you got more than that. Glace is a rare again. And then two 12Ks that never hit 12K and two soul chargers. <laughs> yeah, useful that. Um, my major issue was the fact I got three Hanny, but it wasn't an issue because Grade 2 always dropped my hand. <laughs> so I was until I had no uh, five on field, so So you end up drawing a card. Yeah, I always drew a card from it. Once um once I got the Death Army column off, which was lovely. I was like, I actually got the grade three as well, so that was a nice little push. Yeah. Um that's the great one. Uh and the rest were just one interceptor which I used when I could, and one ten K and two nines. So quite a, quite a lot of it wasn't great, so I used my grade threes most of the time. Yeah, great threes. <laughs> Well, they said enough this time. Well, we got loads. A lot of people had a, an abundance of them. Well, got my fromage. Anyone who rides Mr. Invincible is buggered. <laughs> so it's not a charge, not a charge, not a charge. Exactly the same with Amaterasu. Same can be said with Amaterasu, but I didn't get one, thankfully. I got fromage, which was my triple, which is good. 
I've got Sakia, which was another double. So I've got three pulls, which is quite nice. Two 12Ks, two Apollons, and I'm... Uh, so I've got Apollon's pressure as well, but... Actually, draw, drawing cards doesn't draw mean a hell of a lot, so... No, not in these. Never in sneak peeks. The main one I was looking for was Gold Rusar to find, which I found in the draw stuff, funnily enough. My main push cards was Death Metal Droid and Brutal Joker. That's Count Blast 2 add to go to 4. That's 14, and that's Count Blast 1 to go to 13. And that's just the draw card one. So I'd much rather find one of these two to ride. That I always called as a rear card if I had to. And they were, if I had those two out, I'd pretty much won. Because... You could yeah, get numbers. I abused, and also I abused Rutile's effect on Flip to maintain... And that's pretty good then. Things, yeah. So yeah, that was our cut our pulls and what we, how we played, pretty much. There wasn't much... There was the interesting stories to tell from it, by that nice little combo I did. Uh, actually, you do start. <laughs> you uh, Don't remind me. At Aaron's final game. He was in a situation... No, it wasn't the final game. Well, this, this is the one I want to say anyway, before you say your one. It was a, it was his final game where he had a heal trigger and another card in the deck, and he shuffled it back the turn before, and his both players had two cards left in their deck. So then they go, so if Aaron drew the heal trigger, he would have not attacked with the Vanguard, dropped it, and then sent it back to the two card deck again. Yeah. And then, he, then his opponent would have had to, then he would have switched it over. So his opponent would have had to deck out because he'd have to just draw his last card next turn. But instead, Aaron drew the wrong card. So his opponent just ended his turn and Andrew just out. Aaron decked down instead. Well, no, so he, had, he had a 50 50 chance. It wasn't that, it was also. What's Aaron sending? No, stuff? I, I don't think, know how you decked out. My field was like that. He had just. I had a Vanguard, obviously. But it was something like that. He didn't have a booster there. Yeah. Guard for 5, Guard for 10, had no cards left in hand or interceptors. If I had a booster, I would have won. Because he would have taken a damage and then drawn for turn and decked he out. He shouldn't have shuffled the heel trigger back. <laughs> But I had to, because otherwise I would have decked out anyway. That yeah. was the problem. That's, I, I hate that about sneak peeks. It's always the deck out that kills people. Kills you? It doesn't kill me. <laughs> and the other one I was thinking of was in one of my earlier games. My opponent was about to deck out. He's on five damage. I thought, I may as well try and push him this turn. Attacked from my vanguard. I freak up. Cards left in deck. I was like, I can still do this. And I drove chip my last draw trigger. Yeah, so nice. I drew and then last draw check and decked out. So that cost me a game. Charlie. Other than that, I didn't really have many interesting games. It was all either grade lock or deck out. So yeah, there's a bit, there's a few, um, you know, people being a bit iffy with effects and stuff with me, but nothing, nothing major. It's just timing of stuff and uh, it's just nerves getting to people, I guess. Trying to sneak peeks is a bit of pressure, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much sums up our sneak peek. So, yeah. Anything else? I don't think so. No? Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe. And we'll see you guys later. See ya.